focusing a little bit up in her neck and then into a rotator cuff. So I'll put this on. I like to feel around for it right there. It's on a tense spot. So I'll keep that. So does that feel, Laura, okay? Feels good. Sometimes I'll also just leave it on and do some of this to do some myofascial decompression where it's pulling up the fascia, which is the layer on top of your muscle. And it's helping create a nice space between the tissue and muscle, which we want. We don't want the tissue and uh, connective tissue matted down together. So I'll do that for a little bit and then I'll leave it there. <clears throat> Let me know if it gets too pinchy. Okay. That's okay? It's like super tight there. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. It's surprisingly tight. Yeah. Oh, that's that one's too much? <laughs> no, it's okay. I can tolerate it. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm just okay. laughing. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to put one right. Uh, make sure your hair's out of the way. Oh. You can re-clip it if you need to. No, you're good. That one okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oof. So the only reason I'm tightening them is because I'm going to have her move it. And so... You can let your patient sit here, or you can do add some movement in it to promote circulation and re uh, reduce tension. So I'm gonna start with passive. You okay? Yeah. Ooh. I'll just do some passive range of motion like this. You can also have hold, help support the shoulder in a correct position. Hold now, Laura. I'm gonna have you actively. Do this, good, and down. So here I'm focusing on that rotator cuff, really isolating the rotator cuff, having her do some external rotation. And then I can have her do opposite and do internal. So I'm gonna have you come up like this. Keep that elbow bent for me. There we go. And then I'll have her come here and I'm gonna have her just push up and over. I'll have you do both arms like this, Laura. So bring the other arm up. And now you're just going to reach forward, touch the thumbs together, oh, and then bring it back. There you go. You got it. Oh, my God. You okay? Yeah. <laughs> Keep going. Again, let me know if it's too much. That's all good. Let's do two more, and then we're going to stand up. Okay, now let's stand up. Laura, I'm going to have you face this way, and you're going to do... 10 of these overhead. So you'll just face that way. So I like to do standing because it's a little bit more functional than laying on our stomach. When I say functional, I mean we do majority of the things in our day sitting or standing. So I want to get her up in that position. Good. Okay, now I'm going to have you, I'll move this out of the way. I'm going to have you bring your palms to the front and you're going to bring your arms overhead, touch the thumbs. And those are just a few things that you can do with the cupping. You can also add in resistance exercises, balance exercises, throwing for baseball, tennis, lacrosse.